Hi there, this is Katie with Solo Wood Flowers. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to build a bouquet using two of our dyed assortments. We are taking flowers that have been dyed different colors from two of our best selling assortments, the Colors of the Wind assortment, as well as our Sunday morning assortment. We are going to start by gathering all of our supplies. We wanna make sure that we have everything we need handy and ready to go. It gets frustrating if you have to go and search for it when you're in the middle of your craft project. Let's start by stemming our solo wood flowers. Go ahead and grab your glue gun, your wire stems, and the flowers you're going to stem. Add a bit of glue to the end of your wire. Then poke the wire stem through the back of the flower. You will repeat this step until all of your flowers are stemmed. As you can see, we do have a variety of different colors from both of the assortments. We've got some purples, we've got some dusty rose, a little bit of sage, some different shades of blue, as well as a couple of our raw flowers as well. Now that all of our flowers are stemmed, we're ready to build our bouquet. We like to start by adding three flowers in three different colors. It just helps us get a good starting point for spreading the colors out evenly throughout our bouquet. Now that we've got a little bunch of flowers, we're gonna go ahead and add some tape to this little bundle. And then we will continue to add more flowers. This is an especially nice way to start your bouquets if you are new and you'll have a hard time holding the flowers or something like that. You can just tape little bundles as you go. So add some flowers, tape it up. Add some flowers, tape it up. It just makes it a lot easier if you are not super practiced in this and it's definitely best for beginners. And when you're adding your tape, you wanna make sure that your tape is nice and tight. You don't want any of those flowers that you just placed perfectly to move around or slide around and get out of place. Once you have all of your flowers added to your bouquet, we are ready to add some filler. You can use any type of filler that you'd like. We are going to use a few different type of our preserved fillers here. We have some natural colored filler and we are just going to take it and place it in our bouquet. We're just gonna gently separate the flowers where we would like to add the filler, slide that filler in, and then add the bottom stems of the filler into the handful of the bouquet. Floral tape is going to be your best friend. It is easy to use, it's gonna hold everything in place for you, and you really can't use too much. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some little pops of lavender. We love the lavender, it looks great in so many different types of arrangements, and it smells amazing. So same thing, we're just kind of adding in these stems of lavender wherever we feel like they need to go throughout our bouquet. As you can see here, we kind of slid the end of the stems down in between two flowers and then pulled it down to the height that we wanted it in our arrangement. Now that we have our flowers and filler added, we are ready to add our bouquet grass. Bouquet grass is an amazing way to finish off the bouquet and give it a really clean look. We're just gonna take our bouquet grass and add it in little bunches all the way around the handle of our bouquet. This will help us cover some of those wire stems and it just makes it a little bit cleaner, gives your bouquet a little bit more of a clean finished look. Now that we have all of our bouquet grass, 
where we want it, we are going to tape that down as well. Nice and tight so it doesn't go sliding around. Flowers and filler have been arranged, our bouquet grass has been added, and now we are ready for the finishing touches. We're gonna start by trimming the ends of our bouquet grass. We're just gonna give them a little snip, make sure that the ends are nice and even. And now we are ready for our bouquet handle. We are going to be using jute twine. All you're gonna do is add a little bit of glue, stick the end of that twine to the glue, and then start wrapping around. You want to make sure that you wrap it nice and tight, that way it's not going to move around. If you need to add little dots of glue as you go, that's just fine. Just be careful not to add too much or the glue will show through the twine and it kind of will look messy if you're not careful. So you can make the handle as long or as short as you would like. We just like to have a good base, a good place to hold onto that bouquet if you are walking down the aisle at a wedding or giving it as a gift. And now your bouquet is finished. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy crafting.